Hi, welcome. So I'm going to lead you through three different breathing techniques or pranayama. Um, so these are really great to use at the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, and also before you go to bed. Um, amazing benefits from pranayama. Pranayama literally means prana, which is life force, energy, and yama, which is control. So it's any kind of breath control, and it really makes up um, what we practice as yoga. So it's really important um, to learn as well as just the movement aspects of yoga. So the first one we're gonna do is called three part breath. So we can just sit um, cross-legged if that's comfortable for you. We just need the spine to be straight. If you have um, issues with your lower back, you can lean against a wall. And we'll just close down the eyes and we'll just take a moment to settle in, to ground ourselves in this present moment in this practice and in this time that we are carving out for ourselves. So just beginning by ensuring we're breathing through the nose. Our shoulders are rolled back and down. Our elbows are heavy, just gently drawing inwards. Chest is open. Spine is elongated up. And we'll just take a moment to notice where the breath is landing in the body. So very often when we're stressed, our breath will be right up in the chest. It will be these chest muscles that are using, being used for our breath. We want to, this time, ensure the breath shoots past the chest and past the rib cage and is right down in the belly. So the diaphragm is what's moving our breath. And this is what happens when we're in a relaxed state. This is what happens when we sleep. This is how babies breathe. And this is what we want to return to. So just feeling the belly almost inflate like a balloon with every inhale and every exhale going down. This deep belly breath tells our body that we are in rest and digest and that we can heal and we don't need to produce cortisol, the stress hormone. So just breathing in this way can be so beneficial on its own. So to start with today, we're going to practice three-part breath. And this is where we mindfully breathe into different areas so we'll continue with this deep belly breath. And next time we inhale in the belly, we'll pause for a moment and we'll allow the breath to travel up to the ribs. And then we'll exhale both out. So imagine like the body's in three chambers, the chest, the ribs, and the belly. So again, inhale through the belly, allow it to travel up to the ribs and exhale both out. One more time, big inhale. Allow it to travel up and exhale. All the air out, every last bit. We'll go again, big inhale through the belly, up to the ribs, and this time up to the chest. Feel the torso elongate, exhale all the, out, all the air out. Good, big inhale through the belly, ribs, chest, exhale all the air out, every last bit. And just continue with your own breath now. Every breath as full and long as you can. And try to visualize these different parts of your body working in the breath. Notice if there's any tension in the legs or in the shoulders, let it go. And the next time we're going to remove the chest from this, so we'll come back to our breathing into the belly, up to the ribs and exhale all out. 
again, releasing any tension in the legs and the shoulders. And then we'll remove the chest from the movement, the ribs, sorry. So we'll just breathe down in the belly once more. Really pushing out the belly button with every inhale. And just noticing how you feel. This connection to the breath. The breath is an anchor to the present moment. Being so full of stillness. Just you and your breath. And then we can gently open the eyes. Mm, lovely. <laughs> So the next one we're going to practice is called Sufi Swirling. So this is a cyclical breath where it's a bit faster than what we've just been practicing and we move with the breath. So we're going to start moving in a clockwise direction and as we inhale we move our chest forward and as we exhale we roll back. And it can start as just really small movements. So imagine like we're just kind of spinning around on our tailbone. Big inhale forward, exhale back. And close down the eyes. Move as slow or as fast as is right for you and your breath. You can gradually maybe make the circle slightly bigger. Really push the chest down. And almost lean back on the knees as you come back. Let the knees rise up slightly. Close down the eyes and just focus on this swirling with the breath. Exhale back and around, inhale forward and around. Good, and now we're gonna make these circles slightly smaller, so begin to wind in the circle, making the movement slightly more subtle. Until we come all the way back to stillness in the center. And then we'll just go the other way anti-clockwise, inhale forward and around, small to start with, exhale back, move as slow or as fast as you'd like, connecting with the breath, making the movement slightly bigger, really feel it stretching out into the shoulders as well, move your neck with it. Good, and we can make the circles slightly smaller, winding them in. Until we come all the way back to center. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale and release through the mouth. We let the shoulders relax. Gently opening the eyes. So that's a really great one for building up some prana, some life force energy in the body, get the energy moving around with the breath. So it's a good one for the morning. So the final one we're going to do, um, doesn't have a name um, that I know of, <laughs> but I learned it myself um, with a breathwork teacher. So we're gonna, I'll explain it quickly first. What we're gonna do is come, come into a forward fold as much as is comfortable for you have the palms facing down and make sure the shoulders are relaxed. So we breathe in and out through the nose quite strongly and quite fast, so big strong breaths for 10 breaths. And then on the 10th breath, we sit up with a big inhale and hold our breath. And we imagine all the energy is coming up and we imagine that we're holding it in our head. We hold our breath as much, as long as we can and then we exhale all the air out and feel the body completely release. So I'll walk us through. Coming to a forward fold. We can release the head and the neck. Make sure there's no tension in the shoulders and we're gonna breathe quite forcefully for 10 breaths. So really sucking the air in and forcing it out with in, in and out through the nose for 10 times. 
So we'll exhale all the air out to start, and then we'll begin. Go. Tenth one, big inhale, coming all the way up. Imagine you're bringing all that prana, all that life force energy up to the top of the head. Release the hands on the lap. Mula uh, Banda, if you can, root lock. Relax any tension in the legs and the shoulders and the face. Try and focus on the point in between the eyebrows, even though the eyes are closed. And exhale when you're ready. Return back to normal breath, this deep belly breath. Big inhale, big exhale. So we're gonna practice that again if you'd like. If you did get lightheaded there, then obviously listen to your body, so don't push yourself too much. So we'll start again, and I forgot to say, with the exhales here, we can exhale through the mouth if that's better for you. Sometimes if your nose is a bit blocked, it can be quite hard to forcefully exhale through the nose as well. So if it works better for you, maybe inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So we'll exhale all the air out, and again, do your own breaths in your own time. <sighs> Tenth one, sucking all the prana up, imagining it coming up to the head. Root lock if you can, imagine you're looking in between the eyebrows. Hold the breath up here. Relax the shoulders, relax the legs. Exhale all the air out when you're ready. Feel all the tension melt away from the body. Return to the normal breath. Just take a moment to notice how you feel now to at the start. We use the breath as a tool to connect to ourselves, connect to the present moment but also physical benefits such as detoxifying the body, altering our nervous system state. So just take a moment to give thanks to yourself for taking this time out to practice on yourself. Thank you. Namaste.